Despite emitting minimal greenhouse gases, developing countries are suffering from the brunt of climate change. As developing countries are more reliant on agriculture, they are more susceptible to the impacts of climate change. Ethiopia, a developing country that has been repeatedly hit by climate change-induced drought, has remained to be a good case in point. Ethiopia put forth a climate change resilient green economy strategy, tailored to build a green economy where economic development goals are met in a sustainable way. The strategy is based on the pillars of sustainable development and management of our natural resources in the green economic arena, prioritizing the development and re-establishment of forests for their economic and ecosystem benefits. Economy to get. The government of Ethiopia is committed to Red Plus initiative by developing forest sector policy to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from deforestation and forest degradation. <laughs> Then the strategy has a guide and arsenal, along with the strategy, translate Yaragno, project to Chesarano, look at Kansan Katagin, emission reduction, credits generate Aragomaran, and the credit to Jerome Gaza will look at Al. As one of the key activities of Red Plus, Ethiopia has carried out a successful national forest inventory. We have forest inventory in Baro Bangladesh. Since now, Kahid Mandir no alama. We have made a yallan habt la maakno. One no alama. Yallan yedan habt. We have made a thunita na yallo. Baziriyam rasu sunna. We have made a baziriyoch na yallo. And put in place forest measurement, monitoring, reporting, and verification systems with technical support from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations (FAO). Kamaskete sabab sabab yadan kotara marraja wada komitari gawal kaga bawala indaga na latintana wemla analysis kaza ka collect software indaga na export idaraga export idaraga na. Ministry Gaval, Open Forest Calc Mibal Software Al Calc Tatagman Data Unihin and Telgeon Agarag of Data Tantana Akaidan Al Mala. Trained professionals carry out forest inventory with the support of up-to-date equipment and pre-planned comprehensive data and information related to trees and environment. Through the Red Plus Readiness Project, Ethiopia has benefited from financial and material support as well as knowledge transfer from international development partners like FAO. RV system and low, if you go on and is around what measurement reporting verification system can the labu can the protocol look and the staff who can the capacity build out the land dagger. I'm Mr. 
የማርኒ ሲስተም ተቋቋመዋል አንደኛው በአካባቢቱ በቃ የደንና የአየር ልብ ለውጥ ሚኒስትር ውስጥ የተቋቋመ ነው ሌሎች አራት ደግሞ አራት ክልሎች ላይ በዚህ በሬድ እንደ ናሙና ተወስዶ የተወሰዱ ክልሎች አሉ አማራ ኦሮሚያ የደቡብዞች እና የትግራይ ክልል በነዛ አራት የማር ሪሊስ ሲስተም ደስ ተቋቁማል ከዚህ በኋላ ኢትዮጵያ ደንን ያለመረጃ እንዲወጨለማ ማኔጅመንት አረጋው ምን አይህ ላጣን ምን ያላ ለማን በምን ያህል መልክ እንጠቀም በምን መልክ እንጠቀምበት የሚለው መረጃ መሰረት ያደረገ ይሆነ ነው ማለት ነው ዘመናዊነት የደን ዘመናዊነት አንዱ አካል ነው የመረጃ ከዚህ በፊት የደን ቆጠራ ተካሄዶ አያቀም ቢከሃድም የተወሰነ አካባቢ ላይ ተካሄዶ ነበርውና አገር አቀፍን የሸፈነ ስላል ነበር ያሆኑ ቆጣ የደን ቆጠራ ለኢትዮጵያ ያው በዝላይን ዋና በዝላይን ሆኖ ለወደፊቱ ከሱ ነው እንግዲህ ሪፈረንስ የሚወሰደው ማለት ነው FAO has been supporting the ministry through capacity building and in term of improving technical skills for forest inventory and land use change assessment. Climate change is a threat to the survival of humanity. To reverse this threat and ensure Ethiopia's benefit from Red Plus carbon trading as well as realize Ethiopia's green economy strategy, we need to prioritize developing our forest sector.